13 feet may not seem all that high unless you're a fish. That's why the town of Bristol is building a new fish ladder to help migrating alewives and other species climb over the Bristol Mills Dam. I'd like to see the fish come back. Rick Poland and other members of the town's fish committee have been working for years to make it happen. This first part of the project is costing over half a million dollars, some donated, some from local taxes. The ladder makes 18 steps, nine inches each, along with resting pools for the alewives to gradually get over the dam and then upriver and into the ponds to spawn. The ecological healthiness of the whole river depends on those fish migrating every year. The structure of the fish ladder obviously is all built out of concrete, but the inside surface is laid up from stone all by hand because they figured out that the bare concrete is not very appealing to the fish. Well, the water just reacts differently when it's pouring into a concrete box than it does when it's pouring into one that's got stone. Mark Becker is general contractor and may have more experience building fish ladders than anyone in Maine. He says the stones let the water move more naturally while also adding oxygen for the fish. Local stonemasons Peter Anderson and Richard Powell are doing that work one piece at a time, some by hand, some with mechanical help. And many of these stones were actually donated by local people after the town sent word on social media they were needed. We were overwhelmed by the response of people in town that were said, sure, I have this pile of stones, sometimes old stone walls that were abandoned in the woods on people's property. Jay Crooker says some people even delivered the stones themselves. More will be needed, he says, and more cash donations, too, to completely finish the project. But from hard-earned dollars to hard work and even hard rock, when the fish begin their climb up the new ladder in the spring, there will be a lot of Bristol in there with them. In Bristol Mills, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine.